Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Quick question, do you have spiritual discernment? Maybe everybody's talking about a certain situation a certain way, but there's like an alarm on the inside of you going off screaming, you guys are missing the spiritual realm. What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. We're going to be talking about discerning the spiritual realm today. You know, we all gasped as we heard the slap that echoed around the world. <laughs> as Will Smith physically assaulted Chris Rock. Now, many people have already weighed in on this from Jim Carrey. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. To Denzel Washington. But I wanna give you a pastor's perspective of what I saw and discerned in the spiritual realm and what's happening behind the behind the scenes that contributed to all of this. Now, this is not gossip or any kind of commentary on pop culture. I'm actually a lead pastor and I deal with all kinds of people's toxicity, their marriages, their trauma, their triggers on like a daily basis. I've seen every dysfunction imaginable. So in this video, I wanna join the conversation with the heart of a pastor for your learning's sake and for your freedom. I do not know Will and Jada Smith, but I do know that things that I've heard and seen in the media indicate that their marriage is toxic. Got into a different kind of entanglement. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes. Was that hard for you sitting there? No. <laughs> it's like, no. We never actually, like, officially separated. We agreed that she had to make herself happy. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> Things start as human behavior, but then human behavior, which is AKA sin, opens a doorway to the demonic. And then things that people are calling psychology could actually have a spiritual implication. Now, in this video, I want you to stick around because I'm going to begin to break down the spiritual and even demonic perspective behind what I saw play out that eventually ended up with physical assault. But you need to understand this character in the Bible. Her name is Jezebel. If you've never heard about the Jezebel spirit, you may not have discerned the Jezebel spirit at play in this situation. Now, the Bible introduced Introduces us to Jezebel as this powerful and manipulating wife. She's the wife of King Ahab. Now, Ahab is a king over Israel. Now, that probably conjures up like he serves the Lord God of Israel. No, actually, he did so many things that infuriated God because he brought in Baal worship and then Asherah worship. And those gods were associated with fertility, war, power. Okay, and so to bring in that idolatry into Israel was to provoke the anger of the Lord God of Israel. And then now he's married to Jezebel and Jezebel is incredibly manipulative and evil. We see them as humans, all right? Now this is what I wanna say, but behind their behaviors was the demonic. I wanna give you briefly 10 characteristics of the Jezebel spirit, and then you tell me if you can discern whether or not Jezebel may have been behind this Will and Jada and Chris Rock situation, okay? Number one, it seeks to gain popularity and favor with people of influence and high positions of leadership. Number two, the Jezebel spirit will seek out other individuals that they feel are weaker to become followers of them. They'll actually seek out other individuals that they feel are weaker to then try to create followers of them. Number three, the spirit of Jezebel is never humble. Whenever the spirit receives praise, it always responds in false humility, false humility. All right, stay with me. Number four, the spirit of Jezebel, it is defensive and combative whenever confronted about anything. Are your eyes starting to be open yet, okay? Number six, the spirit of Jezebel wants to be seen as the most spiritual and powerful one and typically loves to pray elaborate long prayers or to give elaborate long speeches or tirades or goes off at length. Does not want to listen, but rather wants to be 
heard. Number seven, the Jezebel spirit will not submit to authority will not submit to authority. Number eight, the Jezebel spirit loves to pray and impart evil demonic spirits into others, especially in the church. Or let me just put it like this, it loves to facilitate activities that actually cause people to receive demonic spirits. Okay, and number nine, we got two more to go. The Jezebel spirit hates the voice of the prophet and seeks to control and destroy those who operate in the prophetic. And then number 10, the Jezebel spirit will never repent. Now, as I went through the 10 characteristics of the Jezebel spirit, you can see that even at the award show, there is the authority of those who put on the show. Will Smith did not submit to their authority. He got up and he he just slapped Chris Rock and did not submit to their authority. You see number five, the Jezebel spirit loves to teach and uh, seeks to gain control in every situation. So when that joke was made and there was an exchange, then there, had to, there was a loss of control. And so Will Smith actually tried to take control over that situation. Get my wife's name out of your mouth. Like there's a, a control behind it, okay? And then it's also defensive and combative whenever confronted about anything. And so you see that extreme defensive and combative nature. This is a brief teaching. I do believe that as a result of sexual perversion and Will and Jada's marriage, because we, we all remember the entanglement, right? Got into a different kind of entanglement. An entanglement. The justification of an open marriage. She had to make herself happy and I had to make myself happy. I believe that because of sexual perversion, I believe that you do see characteristics of an Ahab and Jezebel culture in their marriage. And I believe we saw the fruit or the results of that culture when Chris Rock was physically assaulted. Now, I don't have time to do it here. If you wanna learn more about this, I have a complete long form teaching about Ahab and Jezebel that you can watch right here. So go ahead and click this video and watch it because you need to go deeper and your discernment can and will increase if you continue to feed your spirit instead of just feeding your flesh. Also, make sure you subscribe, hit that button, ring the bell notification so you never miss another video or another chance to see me when I'm live. And I cannot wait to see you in the comments.